Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG. For Ham Radio Basics, welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. This device is something that I built to um, warm up tubes that have been sitting for a long time. Whether or not that has any value, I don't know. I've had a few tubes over the years that when I put them into an amplifier and applied filament voltage only, they failed right on the spot. Um, a couple of tubes have been sitting on their side. It looked like that the, there had been some cold flow or some sagging of the plate structure on its own. Not sure. So I built this because I had the parts. I had the parts on hand. I had the box, which is a box I sell on my website uh, as a speaker enclosure. This was the prototype box. Um, a socket that happens to fit 4125, 4250, 4400, 3500Z and a couple of others. And I had a, a Variac that was way big and that's in this end. It's right about here. And I had a filament transformer that sits about here. Um, and I had a muffin fan uh, on the shelf and a voltmeter from inventory. So basically what I plan to do is if I'm testing a tube and I've got two that are going to come up here real quick is to run up the the filament voltage filament voltage slowly over several hours and not to just put five volt to, five volts to it if it's been sitting a long time. By a long time I'm having, uh, I have a friend who um, purchased a couple of tubes and they've been sitting on the shelf for 16 years, maybe 20 and don't know if they're good so what I thought I would do would be to bring up the um, filament voltage slowly maybe over several hours and then let it sit at 5 volts and see if anything happens. Now I don't have any way to high pop this tube so um, I had to do it in an amplifier and as it turns out this tube is bad. It has a plate to grid short and I created a, a fusible link from uh, took out the uh, plate choke, or, um, parasitic choke, put in a fusible link from the uh, plate choke to the top of the tube applied 1500 volts and it blew it right away um, and uh, a couple of other tests that did it again so it has a plate to grid short you may have heard the term grounded grid well the amplifier it, it was in is a grounded grid amplifier so the grid of this tube is grounded when I put high voltage up here it ran through the tube to the grid to ground and fortunately it didn't blow up my power supply but um, it has a it has a short and it can't be saved um, on the top, and I'll tilt this over, is a voltmeter right about here, so I can read, and it's fairly close, and I want to keep it right on. Um, and I can run the voltage up to 5 volts, which is right about there, and let it set for hours, and the fan keeps the, uh, the glass cool enough to, uh, to be okay, and I've checked it with an infrared thermometer. I'm open to suggestions, and if you think this is a dumb idea, I'm willing to listen because maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, if you're an expert on tubes and you have some advice, I'm I'm all ears. I'd love to hear hear from you. Please add a comment. Anyway, this is my gizmo for warming up tubes that's been sitting on a shelf for a long time. Warm them up over several hours. Uh, after they cool down, turned off, cool down. Put them in the amplifier. Again, create a fusible link of some kind so that if there is a short, it doesn't take the power supply out. And that's my way of um, at least going through the first couple of steps and checking a tube. The last step, of course, is with high voltage applied, if everything else is okay, see what the idling current is. Does it look to be about where it should be? And if that's the case, then slowly apply some drive and see how far it can be driven and if it meets the parameters of the spec sheet. Anyway something I built. Maybe it's of no value. Maybe it is, but um, we'll, we'll see. Thanks for watching. This is Jim, W6LG73, and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.